Let's take a look at a piezoelectric ultrasonic atomizer. Now, they're made similar to a uh, piezoelectric uh, buzzer, and uh, they have uh, this uh, PZT material. It's, just, it's a lead uh, zinconate uh, titanate material around there, which is it's a ceramic material. And what happens with this material is that as you apply voltage to it, a positive voltage will make it expand, and the uh, negative voltage will, will make it uh, shrink up. So it, uh, it forces this metal plate that it's on to, to vibrate back and forth. And for the, uh, the buzzer, that just puts your sound out, and that's fine. But in order for this uh, atomizer to work, we need to pump some water through these little microscopic holes here. So we need to do that at about 110 kilohertz. And uh, this one has a 5-volt DC in, uh, 300 milliamps and 2 watts, this particular unit right here. Here it is here. And uh, what happens is these... These are these little microscopic holes here, and the water's underneath here, it comes up into the hole, and when this thing pulls up, the water comes up to it, and then as this thing bends back down, it forces the water th out through this, these little tiny droplets out through this, uh, these microscopic holes here. So, the, uh, these holes here are usually conical in shape. Or they can be cylindrical and they can be uh, in a pyramid shape, but uh, I think most of them are, are conical shaped here. And it, they just acts, it just acts as a little pump. This vibrates up and down and it pumps the water up through these uh, this little uh, micro apertures here and forms little uh, droplets in the air. So uh, that, that's all there is to it. This, here's your control circuit here. It's got a switch here. Got the CPU. It uh, it has a uh, all's it doing. It's it's running a uh, a MOSFET into a little transformer. Here's your transformer here, and uh, now it needs to be about 70 volts on this thing. And I, so I put it on this put it on the scope, and here it is here. So the frequency it's 109.28 uh, kilohertz, which is close. And the, um, well, the max voltage is 80. The uh, RMS is 45. It's kind of an odd sine wave here, so these numbers are, aren't quite right. But uh, the, um, you know, the peak value is 142, or peak to peak anyway. So, uh, but, you know, 70 volts or so uh, will run, we'll run the thing. So uh, this is what it looks like, and it does have a 100 and 109 uh this one's 0.266 kilohertz, should be 110, but that's, uh, this just drives a unit, and so I have the unit right here, and we'll give it a try. Turn it on, and we'll put it on the, this is just water, it's got a little wick in there, and so if I put it on there, the water comes up through, I have a laser here so we can, we can see the, the water vapor coming out. Oh, I got to hold it on there better. There we go. So that's that's uh, that's the atomizer. So that's how it works. Try it again. Do I have it on the right direction? There we go. Yeah, works good. That's uh, that's all there is to this uh, little uh, atomizer here, and uh, thank you.